But anyhow, this is the start of the 2022 deer camp video. Uh, we're up here tonight, Eli and I, we're uh, cleaning our shanty out and we're gonna be up here first thing in the morning. But uh, we've already seen several deer and we've seen a couple good bucks already here coming up here to tonight or today. So uh, hopefully we get some action here tomorrow. Uh, I'd like to see him get one and it doesn't matter about me, I'd just like to see him get some. Well, we just got up here to the cabin and got the generator started. season there's some more you can just see the sky starting to break beginning to be able to see a little bit down there in the hollow now I know it's still pretty dark, but I wanna, the first day of 
West Virginia rifle season is upon us. And I hope that you all come along with us and watch this video that I'm going to put out here next week for you all. I'll have it out next week for you all the first week of deer season. But I've got Eli and I up here and the hunting shanty and hopefully a buck will come through here. Uh, I'm going to open this video up with prayer this morning and I, Al, if you're watching this, I'm going to pray for your wife and I just uh, will say a prayer for her because I know she's in need it right now. So buddy, you hang in there and uh, with the good Lord's help, she'll get through this situation that she's going through. Let us pray. Dear Lord, I want to thank you for this day. I thank you for allowing Eli and I and the rest of our family to wake up and see another day. I pray, Lord, that uh, you would be with us through this day. And if given the opportunity to harvest the deer, that you help us to make a humane and ethical shot on this deer and that you allow us to to harvest it. But if not, just let us enjoy your sights and wonders of this day. I want to pray, Lord, that you would be with Al's wife. Uh, you know her needs. You know what she's going through and you know what uh, she's facing here. Uh, so I just pray that you'd be with her and watch over her with Al as he's had some issues of his own. And I just pray that you'd be with him and watch over him too, Lord. Now, Lord, just lead God and direct us through this day. May everyone that's watching this video have your blessings shine up on them and just watch over them and take care of them. For it's in your name I pray. For it's in Jesus' name I pray, and amen. Mm. some good stuff of him right here. We'll call him Unicorn. Second buck of the day. Hey, uh, if you want to get big bucks, that's the kind you need to let go. But it's whatever you want to do. I guess you'd call him a four point. So cool. That's just a young deer. Yeah. 
up. Hopefully he stays right here on the phone. Well, this is the end of the first day of deer season here in West Virginia, and Eli and I seen about 25 deer and two bucks that we knew for sure. And here this evening, we had that uh, little four point that you've seen the footage of. He came back in there tonight, but uh, that's all we've seen. That's the most deer I've ever seen out of our hunting shanty. This is day two of the West Virginia rifle season, and we're headed out, Eli and I are headed out. Hopefully we'll, we might get something today, but uh, I'll keep bl bringing you clips of each and every day that we're out, and hopefully that we have some action. I, I won't be able today to get a, if we happen to get to shoot something, I'll not be able to get it on film because I don't have my tripod with me. But this is hunting. This is the way it really is when you're doing it. And uh, you don't always have time to, to be a film and stuff. Uh, if I was wanting to film stuff, I'd go to Hollywood and learn how to be a professional filmer. But uh, this is the true stuff. This is true hunting that you're getting from my videos right here. So, uh, but right here is what I enjoy doing, bringing my little buddy and making memories with him. still out here this, this morning. It's about 10.30. Uh, just doing a little bit of update here. Uh, I seen some does of running and acting awful funny. And here I got to looking and here come a big old coyote chasing them deer. I didn't get it on film because it happened so quick. But I did get a shot at the coyote but the coyote's still running so... I try every opportunity if I see a coyote while I'm deer hunting. The deer hunting goes on hold and we start coyote hunting because they really wreak havoc on our deer herds. Well, we're back up here for our evening hunt. Uh, we're back up in the hunting shanty up here at the farm. And I didn't bring my tripod with me, so <clears throat> everything that I filmed Tonight will have to be done by hand, so uh, hopefully we see something, and earlier today, a recap of what happened today already is we did see one little spike buck, and we elected not to shoot it, and we seen a coyote a chasing deer, and I got a shot at the coyote, but I didn't get it, so... Hopefully we see a buck here in this hollow tonight and we can let Eli shoot it. Sometimes you got a snack when you're uh, deer hunting, and Whoppers is one of my favorite candies.
I'm going to close this video right here. This is the uh, end of the second day of rifle season here in West Virginia. We didn't have no luck today. We still got to walk down to the garage and get ready to go home. I got to take Eli to basketball practice. But I'm headed over to my dad's here this morning. This is the third day of... Uh, West Virginia rifle season. It's just me, Eli. He wanted to sleep in a little bit. He's been having ball practice at nighttime and I've been taking him to that, but he wanted to sleep in a little bit this morning. So I'm going over here and get up in the tree stand where you've seen a lot of my uh, recurve bow video come from. So, uh, I'm going over here and I'm going to uh, hunt out of this tree stand this morning and see if I can see a buck in here. And no, I don't have my tripod with me because uh, like I've said on previous videos, I don't have no way to film me shooting a deer or something out of my tree stand. I haven't got that much advanced into this here whole video thing and all my videos I shoot I do it with a phone I don't have no uh, camera or anything so uh, you'll just have to bear with me like I said this is true hunting and this is just how it is so uh, I will try to get something out there with for you and we will uh, I will get back with you when I get in a tree stand up here today. It's just now starting to get daylight. Uh, you can see there behind me, but I'm up here in my, my dad's ladder stand here behind his house. And this is where I did all my bow hunting at, or biggest part of it. And I've seen some bucks in here and some of the trail cam footage that you all had, you all got to see that I put out. Uh, it come from over in here too. So hopefully maybe we see a buck come through here today and I can get a shot at it. Y'all stick with me and I'll get back with you a little bit later. But right here you can see just now starting to get daylight and it's about almost a quarter till seven and this is the third day of the West Virginia rifle season we had a couple bucks run off that hill over there my brother was a shooting at one of them and they run down into this hollow right here. We're gonna head back up this hill right here, up this right of way, and back to the house. And if we see something, I'll turn you back on. If not, I'll see you tomorrow. But we're here on this power line right away, this old power line right away. And them bucks are in that hollow right there. Or they might have come across and went up on, on here. But if you go back that way, you're back into PA. So hopefully they settle down and they go back down in our hollow right there. But we're going to get up out of here. i got to get him to ball practice. We're setting out here in the field behind my dad's house waiting for the sun to come up uh, but we're back in here this morning uh, right over here in front of me where you see the sun coming up that's where we seen the bucks at last night and uh, we're going to sit here and watch and see if we see anything I want to wish you all a happy Thanksgiving I hope you all have an enjoyable day and spending it with your families and let us not forget to be thankful for what we have. Uh, I think sometimes we go in, they want to commercialize Christmas so much and they've already 
started it, we don't even have Thanksgiving. November is the month of Thanksgiving. So uh, let's not forget about that. And I hope a good Lord blesses you all today. And hopefully he blesses us with a buck here today because we could take that meat and use it and uh, get a lot of nourishment out of it. But anyhow, this is Thanksgiving morning and Eli and I are back here of watching this old growed up field for a little bit. Right here is uh, the deer my son Matthew got. And uh, it's a seven point. I had been getting this thing on trail camera. He hadn't gotten a deer for, I don't know how Ten long. Years. It, 10 years. He, this is the first buck he shot. And he held out, out for a nice one. That's the best one he's ever got. And he put a pretty good shot on it. Right there behind the shoulder. Uh, it looks like he's probably taking his heart out, but that's what you want to do. And But right here is our first buck of the 2022 rifle season. Couldn't be more prouder. And killed it in this field right here. My boy is getting ready to drive that old patch of woods right there. And we're sitting here where we can see to see if we see anything come out of here. Uh, so if we happen to get something, I will show it to you. I'm here getting ready this morning. I'm going to head out. It's a raining. It's Friday morning, but I'm going up to the hunting shanty. So I will catch up with you up there a little bit later. I got my little helpers here <laughs> waiting for me to get my clothes on and get out of here. So, uh, but I, I've got to get ready here and I will catch up with you up there at the farm. I will talk to you when I get in the shanty up there. Oh, and I do want to show you one more thing. This is what kind of bucks I try to hunt for. But anyhow, that's what I hunt for right there. That's the kind of bucks I hunt for, and you hunt for whatever makes you happy, but this come off of the farm up there, and that was a 13 point I killed back in 2013, but I'll get them down sometime, all my bucks down, and get them hung up, and I will show you what kind of bucks I try to get. But uh, that guy right there, he was a 13 point with some junk on him and that's my biggest buck to date but like I said I'll get him down sometime and I will uh, show you what all I have gotten I'm up here at the farm now and it's about going on seven uh, 
it's raining and I'm going to head up to the hunting shanty. I will catch up with you up there. I've been moving kind of slow today. It's Friday and uh, this rain and stuff, but I'll get motivated and get up there. My, my thoughts on this is uh, you can't get nothing if you stay in bed or on the couch. So uh, you've got to be out there hunting. And I thank God that I've got my hunting shanty for a day like today. I think it's supposed to rain here till about 9 or 10 o'clock and then quit. But I'm going to set up there till then and see what happens. Uh, and yes, uh, the clip before this is of my big bucket I got off the farm up here in 2013. And uh, it was a 13 point. But that's the kind of deer that I hunt for with my rifle, with my bow. I'm not as picky but with my rifle I am and uh, I want to try to get a mature buck but I'm that's just me uh, the thing is you all take what makes you happy and enjoy the hunt but I have gotten enough deer through the years that I want to try to get me a nice one if I get one with my rifle so that's just what I choose to do but I will catch up with you up here at the hunting shanty and we'll see what this day brings. Well, I made it up here to the hunting shanty and it's a pouring the rain down. I'm gonna set in here. They say it's supposed to quit at nine o'clock, but we'll see. I have to get out and hunt today because I've got to go back to work tomorrow and Sunday. So uh, this is Friday morning and it's a little bit after seven. I got up here later than what I wanted to, but we'll make the most of it. Like I've said all throughout, you can't get one if you're sitting on the couch or still laying in bed so you got to get out and try uh, I'm hoping that uh, our target buck shows up here to this morning I have never laid eyes on him only through trail cam pictures but uh, I will show you a picture of him here after this clip right here but uh, that's what we've been after up here. Uh, I probably will not shoot this deer if I have a chance to. I would like him to go another year and maybe get bigger, but that's just me. Uh, you've seen what I've gotten up here, and I'm going to do a little bit better video on my deer that I have taken off the farm up here and uh, show you what I've got through the years up here. But uh, I showed you that there 13 point I got there years ago, back in 2013, and it was uh, the biggest deer that I've ever gotten. And uh, that's what I set my sights on when I'm rifle hunting, trying to get something that big, if not bigger. But for around here, that buck for the area that I hunt in is a big buck for this area. So, but you gotta also let the little ones go so they will grow. And like I said, I'm not telling you to be deer managers. I, I choose to do that because I trap coyotes and bobcats and I try to keep a predator population down too. There's more to being a good deer manager than just letting little bucks go and letting them grow. You've got to get out and get to predators and you've got to take that stuff off your property too. Uh, I know up here the other day and then I'll get off here because I'm getting a little bit long winded here. Uh, my brother stayed up here Wednesday night in the garage and he went hunting up here yesterday morning. But he blew his coyote call and he said there's coyotes answering all over this place up here. So I'm going to have to get some traps set out up here and try to take some of 
more of these coyotes off its place. But anyhow, I'll get off here, and if I happen to have some action, I will let you see it. But uh, it, maybe if that big buck comes in, I can get him on film, and you can look at him like that. So I will talk to you a little bit later. Get out of here and go take my 270 for a walk. That's what I'm hunting with today. This rain has stopped and it acts like it's going to clear out. So we're going to go out and walk around for a little bit. Uh, I'll take you all along with me and maybe we'll get some footage some of some other places here on the farm. But I haven't seen any deer yet, and I'm going to give this a few more minutes, sitting right here since it's rain quit, and then we're going to get out of here and go somewhere else. I will take you along with me. But anyhow, I'm going to end this video here. This is uh, first week of deer camp here in northern West Virginia. Uh, I'm going to end it here. i uh, got to go to the house. I've got some things I need to do. And plus, i got to go back to work tomorrow and Sunday. So hopefully I can get the second week out to you and that I'm able to video a little bit the second week of deer camp here in West Virginia. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and we did have some success here. My son, he was 
able to harvest a seven point there yesterday and that was his first buck that he was able to harvest in 10 years and uh, my 84 year old dad he was able to harvest an eight point here on the farm yesterday and I'm just thankful that he is able at 84 years old to still get out and go hunting and to do the things that he does but I will see y'all on the next one and y'all have a great day and may the good Lord bless you the remainder of this weekend and next week.